Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Good morning, this is Brendan. And I'm Amelia. Here are your announcements for Wednesday, May 17th. If you took an art class this year, you have artwork to pick up in Mr. Holiday's room, A136. It is labeled by class and or medium. Ceramics are in Mr. Willich's room, A139. If you took an art class in the past, we might have your artwork too. Come get it. Any artwork not claimed by May 25th will have to be discarded. Mrs. Long and Mr. Phillips have all the details you'll need to participate in DECA if you missed yesterday's meeting. WNIT Public Television needs you to submit video material through July 7th to be showcased in Our Town Syracuse, a brand new documentary about a one-of-a-kind town, premiering Monday, August 21st. All video segments can be sent to Brenda Boyer at bboyer at WNIT.org or you can call 574-675-9648, extension 316. Track uniforms need to be turned in if your season has concluded. Members shouldn't forget to be in the annex after school today, so you can vote on who you believe deserves to win team awards. Dollars for scholar students, honors night will be held tonight, but you should make sure you have read the important scholarship email you should have received in your inbox. All questions can be emailed to Mr. Bauer. Students who love to support their Warrior football team any way they can should consider a role in broadcasting next year's games. You'll even be paid for your time and effort, so stop by the radio studio. All graduation cap and gowns will be handed out on Monday, so be sure to pick those up during Warrior time. If handicap seating is necessary for anyone you know, Ms. Records or Mrs. Thorberg need to know before it's too late. The LRC can still aid you with getting to the ebooks granted to you all summer. But don't let that keep you from getting your printed materials turned in by this Friday. Students already signed up for summer school or interested in doing so should be in the auditorium during warrior time on Friday. Those who can't attend, please see Mr. Phillips or Mr. Beasley. There will be a meeting for all boys in grades 9 through 11 who are interested in playing football on Wednesday, May 24th in the lecture room. The meeting will begin at 315. You will have a chance to meet the new head coach and will receive information regarding football summer activities. Now, here's Michael at the sports desk. Thanks, Amelia. In sports, congratulations to Hannah Marie Lamley, who is a regional qualifier in long jump, 100, and 300 hurdles. Also moving on to regionals is Alexis Mangus in discus, Jada Parsnot in pole vault, and Elizabeth Zorn in the 1600. The varsity baseball team picked up a win over Fairfield 10-8. Crossover picked up a win on the mound for the Warriors, while Jacob Garcia had a two-run home run. JV also picked up a win over Fairfield 9-7. The golf team fell to Concord 186-170, but beat Elkhart Memorial 186-200 in NLC action last night. Zach Leedy was medalist for the Warriors, shooting a 40. Warriors in action tonight include the JV and varsity baseball teams will travel to Concord. The first pitch is at 5 p.m. And the JV and varsity softball teams will host Concord. The first pitch is at 5 p.m. Now over to Mr. Van Loo with your weather forecast. Thanks, Michael. For today and tomorrow, we'll see some more spring sunshine with a slight chance for some showers on Thursday, a bit breezy, and the temperatures will continue to be in the mid-80s. Tonight and tomorrow night, we'll see some clouds, a slight chance for rain and thunderstorms with breezy conditions, and a low of 68 tonight and 50 tomorrow night. Now let's take you to Paul for the lunch and breakfast menus. Thanks, Mr. Van Loo. For today's lunch, spicy chicken or regular chicken patty, burritos, applesauce, and broccoli. And the breakfast of tomorrow will be French toast. Now let's take it back to Brandon and Amelia. Thanks, Paul. There's your announcements for Wednesday, May 17th. I'm Brendan. And I'm Amelia. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Wallace. Wallace.